Hello friends, learning medicine in a conceptual way is always fun. And what better than learning a treatment? Cancer is always disastrous. And the best thing to treat a cancer is to go specific treatment against a cancer. You all know that. What I bring in this video is something new. It is called as checkpoint inhibitors. Yes, we all know that a cancer have various ways to actually evade our immune system. You might be knowing that some of the time, sometimes the cancer gets antigen negative and because it's antigen negative, it will not be able to be destroyed by a B cell. Some cancers, they do not express MHC1 and therefore they actually evade destruction by the CD4 and CD8 cells. But some cancers does go one step ahead. So they secrete or they actually induce some molecules in our T cells or our immune responses so that they actually escape being destroyed by the immune system. In this video, I will talk about how does a cancer escape immune system and what are the various drugs available now to exactly treat that escape mechanism. So here I bring to you something called as checkpoint inhibitors. So I hope you have heard about the action of an APC on a T cell. So what you might, might be knowing is, suppose this is a APC, it's a dendritic cell or a dendritic cell or an antigen presenting cell. So you all know that the APC has this MHC1 molecule, okay, this has a MHC1 molecule and this often presents a tumor peptide, a tumor peptide to the CD4 or the CD8 cell. Let's assume this is a CD8 T cell. This suppose is a CD8, okay, it's a CD8 T cell. Now, the CD8 T cell, you all know, will have what? They will have a T cell receptor. It should have a TCR. But remember guys, this is only giving it signal 1. The signal 2 is often given by a B71 molecule called as AT, CD80. This is the B71 molecule, B71 molecule. And this often needs to activate a C28 on a C28 on a CD8 T cell. And this is called as co-stimulation stimulation now remember one thing there is a there is a molecule called as ctla4 there's a molecule called as ctla4 yes cytotoxic t cell activator ctla4 and this often binds to b71 molecule and this will prevent the activation of cd8 t cell. what i'm trying to say here is sometimes what happens there is a molecule of cd ctla4 and this binds to it binds to b71 molecule and so and so it prevents and so it prevents the activation of activation of CD8 T cells. Now, this unique mechanism is often done by a tumor to escape the immunity. That means, that means often you might be knowing or you might have heard that there is a molecule called as CTLA4 here on the CD8 T cell. There's a molecule called as CTLA4, CTLA4, and this CTLA4 it can sometimes bind to the B71. And this binding, this binding in this condition, it will not allow, remember this thing, this binding of the CTLA4 to the B71 molecule will not allow the activation of CD28. And therefore, we have now been able to specially, specially you can say, we have now been able to specially act against this immune mechanism. That means, yes, we have been able to target this by making antibodies called as anti-CTLA4. So there are antibodies which can bind here. So if an antibody, this is an anti-CTLA4 antibody and this antibody can definitely be used to uh, treat a tumor because now the 28 will be activated and yes, the T cells can destroy it. So in a way, in a way, please understand that what was happening is the CTLA4, this expression was increased by tumor cells. So tumor cells were actually making a checkpoint so that it can escape the immune response. And now with this help, we are able to negativate the checkpoint. That means now we have developed a negative uh, or you can say a destruction of this negative checkpoints, which will be able to help to treat a cancer. One more example of this is a PD-1 mechanism. Now let's first name this molecule. This molecule currently discovered the drug. You can say it is called as Epilimumab. Okay. Epilimumab. Mumab. Now this drug definitely, definitely is a recent thing and you must all be aware of it. If not, make sure you know about this. 
Secondly, there's one more mechanism called as PD-1, programmed death molecule 1 mechanisms. So what happens sometimes that suppose there is a APC again, I'm drawing one more mechanism. It's a bit different, you know, some new things have come up. So this, a, um, this is called as APCs. The APCs, again, I will say there is a MHC molecule. Okay, this is a MHC molecule. Okay, MHC molecule. And this is presenting a tumor peptide. Okay, this is a, again, a tumor peptide. And this is being presented to what? Presented to a CD8 T cell or can also be presented to a tumor cell. So suppose this is a, this one is supposedly a tumor cell, tumor cell and the tumor cell is having, is being, showing a T cell receptor. Yes, you heard it correct. Sometimes a tumor cell has a T cell receptor expression. Okay. Or it may also be, or it may be a CD8 T cell also. So any of them can be doing this. Now, as I told you in the previous example, there's a molecule called as, molecule called as CD28. And the CD28 should also be activated by the B71, right? So what I, what this molecule is, it's a CD28 molecule and this should be activated by B71 molecule. This is what I just told you, right? Now, apart from this, apart from this, something new has come up. So what they now say is, there is one more molecule called as PD1 ligand. There's a PD1 ligand here. This ligand is called as PD1 ligand, okay? So we're calling this as PDL1, okay? We're calling this as PDL1 and this PDL1 can be activated by the APC or this can actually I'll say attach okay this can actually attach the PD it can actually attach the PD1 molecule it can attach the PD1, PD1 molecule now what happens see uh, listen to me carefully what happens when this activation that is when the PDL1 PDL1 of a tumor cell or T cell activates a PD1 molecule here so this PD-1 will inhibit the MHC. It will inhibit the MHC. That means because the MHC is inhibited now or APC is inhibited now, now the tumor cell or a tumor antigen cannot be destroyed. I again repeat, see what happens. The PD-1 ligand is often expressed on a tumor cell. Okay. And this PD-1 ligand on a tumor cell, listen to me, to me tumor cell can activate a molecule called as PD-1 on the APC. And this will actually inhibit the MHC molecule. It will inhibit the MHC, one, MHC molecule. So this way, again, a tumor can escape being destroyed by the host immune responses. So something new has is been there, there. So what we can do, guys, we can basically make an antibody against a PD-1 or a PD-L1. That means we can try to block, we can try to block this one and we can also try to block this one. So that means if you are able to block these two, block these two obviously the inhibitory mechanism is gone and because the inhibitory mechanism is gone you will the tumor cells will be destroyed so the drugs now available drugs now available are inhibitors of inhibitors inhibitors of pd1 as well as pdl1 yes both of them are available now both of them are available now this Example, let me just first tell you the example. The example of the PD-1 is like Nevo. Nevo Lumab. Okay. Nevo Lumab. One more example is Pembro Lizumab. Okay. Pembro. Pembro Lizumab. Again, these are PD-1. Okay. And one more about the PD-L1 antagonist. These are the Atelozumab. Okay. Atel. Atezolimumab and there is Avelizumab. So, please understand, these are recent drugs and they have been recently used to treat. So, they have been used, they have been successfully used, okay. They are successfully being used to treat a case of AML, AML, bladder carcinoma, bladder carcinoma. It can be non-small cell lung carcinoma, non-small cell lung carcinoma, as well as melanoma. So I'm telling you guys, this is the future. Today also, we reported this today in our own department. And the reason of this was the patient was suffering from AML and the patient, the doctor wanted to know whether the tumor cell expressed this PD-1 or the PDL one If they express these drugs along with the chemotherapy are highly, highly, highly beneficial. 
So let me understand. Let me make you understand again. The tumor cells are making a mechanism, making a mechanism to escape immune responses, and hence tumor cell will cause tumor cells are causing negative checkpoints. Okay. So please understand the tumor cells, the tumor cells were causing negative checkpoints. Remember this word, negative. Please understand this word. It's very very important. Negative checkpoints. to escape immune responses to escape immune responses to escape immune responses so nowadays we are especially able to target this so drugs are available to target this and hence we will be calling this as negative checkpoint inhibitors they are called as they are called as negative checkpoint negative checkpoint inhibitors negative checkpoint inhibitors and if you know about this if you actually know about this the two scientists actually the two scientists they received the nobel prize for this in the 2018 in the field of physiology allison and honjo sir allison and honjo so they received the nobel prize for this in 2018 and this was called as cancer immunotherapy better called as better called as the immune checkpoint blockage okay the word we use nowadays nowadays is immune checkpoint immune checkpoint blockage so this blockage can be against the ctla4 or this blockage can be against the pd1 so this is the future and this is a very very important update that you must all be aware of i hope you like this video if you really liked it do like subscribe and comment on this video i am very sure that we will be able to bring you more and more such updates so that you are completely updated in the field of medicine thank you god bless you and stay blessed